Hey guys, what is up? Mac Gamer here today, and we're playing some State of Decay. This is an old game that came out of about, uh, I think, like June of 2013. And uh, yeah, so I hopped in here. I don't, um, I didn't know if you could have multiple save files, and I wanted to play this. So um, yeah, I just wanted to play this. So I do not, I <laughs> can't talk. I do not know. Um, I don't know how many slots it had, so I just thought I'd play it. I just got it today. Download was hell along. So, thought I'd play it. And, uh, hopefully we'll have some fun uh, playing this. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Telling me to defend my friend. We got him. Where is he at? Oh, get him. So basically, all I know about this game. Alright, hold. Cool. So basically, I know this is just an open world zombie game. Alright, they're done talking. Basically, I just know this is an open world zombie game. And it's kind of like Daisy, I think. Just a little bit like Daisy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like Daisy. And uh, yeah, since I don't have a Windows, I'm kind of happy to play this. I've never played an open world zombie game, so I kind of think this will be fun. Let's go take these guys out. Take them out. Yeah. So so far, I like these mechanics. Um, these these uh, fighting mechanics are pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. I just thought I'd play uh, something semi kind of fun, zombie-ish with you guys. And quite honestly, I don't really have my main game except for Minecraft, and I'd like to make a couple main games. Maybe this be one of them. I mean, people play State of Decay, like make a series out of it, but I don't know how many people really play it. So, I thought I would. That's all I got to say about that. Ooh! I just got my neck bit a little bit there, actually. Dang. I don't know. What, okay. The ranger station is right up here. This is where we're supposed to be going. Defend against this guy. And uh, there is a storyline as well. This is the storyline. Um, you can also choose just to like have your character, like me, just run off and do like whatever you want. You can choose to do that as well. I think some people do that. That's what I might do at certain times, but when I'm playing with you guys, I'm going to do the storyline, of course, though, because, yeah, I just am. So let's go in here and see what they have to say. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survival. Sorry about that. That's my phone going off. I'm just texting people while this while his uh, storylines rolling on here. There's a water tower out back. It has a good view of the campground. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. There's got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need. I'll turn this off so you guys don't have to hear me tapping. All right, we need some supplies. Okay, find help. Well, actually, I don't know why I did that. I kind of need that. What was that? Bracket. You've joined a community. Okay. Yeah, so what this kind of is, is um, if you guys have paid attention to The Walking Dead, I kind of know the, the thing of this, how this works. You, um... And you at first join like a family or whatever, and then in the middle of it, bad things can happen. Like some characters can die off. You can, of course, die. Bad things can happen, and then if you die, then it'll just go to another character. If you end up living for a while, then you just shift families, you explore, because the most likely what's going to happen while this series is rolling on is I'm going to be joining different communities. This community looks like we're going to fucking die. Just glaring at everyone. Badass. Um, but... Yeah, so this community looks like we're just going to be, like, killed off for some reason. It just doesn't look... This place isn't enclosed enough. 
But yeah, so getting back to the point, um, you join different communities, you can obviously upgrade the area, but as I said, I feel like that this is going to, this, uh, this community is going to just go by fast. As you saw that bar, the community is not too, too advanced, but yeah, I'm going to. Oh, oops, I hit RT. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to survey here. Vehicle. I'll look at all these question marks. Campsite. It's that. Campsite. Another campsite, huh? I think those are uh, zombies out there. Public restroom. I don't know why that guy, guy needs to be up here with me, but whatever. A cabin is right over there. A couple of zombies, as you guys see, just creeping around over here. I think, I think uh, and also when you're doing this, if you're just uh, deciding not to do the storyline, you can easily just uh, take over some forts. Yeah, buildings, you can check that, yes. Um, you can easily just go to a new uh, campsite, or you can go to like a building like that and just hold it down yourself. It's obviously a lot harder because if you are making noise in there at night or doing something, uh, then you easily um, you can easily be spotted by um, those zombies. So that's the I don't know why he walks down on top of me. His ass is like heads in his ass. All right, we're gonna go inside. I think they want us in there, or maybe not. No that question mark. You know, probably be attracting attention when you run. It attracts attention when you are rummaging through stuff, and you choose to go faster rummaging through stuff, you get noticed. Like right now, some zombies are coming. Like, for instance, I kind of want to see this guy die. Like, I'm, I, like, I don't know how it works, but all I know is that your community can easily die. Like, if I didn't save him in the beginning, I'm curious as to if he would have died. Oh! Jesus. Yeah, see my health. Unless you get some healing, your character can die, and then you go and you meet someone else. Yo, bro! Jesus. See, that guy's totally uncapable. I'm not alone in here. Oh, God. That guy almost just killed him, actually. Um, and then also, yeah, if you are in the wild, you can Easily just barricade stuff like this um, to keep you safe. If you're out here alone, of course. Since I'm not, I'm not going to go to the trouble. You already have a house. But if you hold the left mouse button, like I just was doing there, you can uh, get you can uh, search stuff faster. It just makes a lot more noise. And the zombies will run if they're close by. All right. So where the house is circled, we're going to go on. So far, I'm actually liking this game. I just got it today. Um, I have an Xbox 360, as you guys know. So, um, I have an Xbox 360, as you guys know. So I was still looking for some relevant games to be playing. I didn't want anything too, too expensive, since I'm getting an Xbox One very soon. No, I don't want to barricade him. I'm getting an Xbox One very soon, so I didn't want to get too, too out of hand and uh, get a bunch of uh, games that might have been intriguing to me. So I just got... Um, I just uh, got State of Decay, nice, um, actually kind of cheap game, um, not cheap game, $20, but it is well worth the $20 in what you can do in this game. I don't know why he's like hugging the zombie like that, I mean, you just let him chill out there, you good there? Ooh, ooh, white boy strong. He's like, first look at this guy, like, what the fuck do you think he is? He's just like, getting mauled at the beginning, I wonder if I didn't see him. Alright, it's still circled on this. I feel like... Who's the purple shit? Oh, okay. Oh, can I search that? Oh. I'll hold that and search faster. Okay. Some chips and some health. Okay. I don't know how to uh, exactly... Um, there we go. Painkillers to help you out. Um, let's see what else we can search. You... Alright, there's just dist distant gunshots. 
Alright, we're gonna do a waypoint over there. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna run. And uh, when we get to the gunshots, I don't know how long we've been recording for, guys, but I'd like to get a lot of these out. So, I don't know what the fuck those guys are doing over there. But I'd like to get a lot of these out, and I'm gonna get, like, a... This is, it's Saturday today, I'm planning on getting at least one more out after this one. You guys might get it, like, closer to, like, 9 o'clock. I don't know what time it is right now, but it might get closer to 9 o'clock. Alright, oh, Jesus. Get him off. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna die, and we're gonna be the character for this soon. So, uh, when you get over there, guys, I'm planning that we are going to, um, that we are going to, uh, stop it. And, hopefully I don't die before then, because if this is just really one game how I think it is, then it's, then it's, um, then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, pretty hard for me not to want to play this. I'm going to play this. And if I die, I'm gonna have to explain that to you guys, obviously. So when we get to him, we'll see how that is, and I'll, uh, see you guys I want to still investigate. It's kind of fun to investigate. I kind of feel like I'm in the walking dead right now. But I really don't want to go in first. Can you uh, go in first? I don't trust this. Oh, you can't hit them. I don't trust that because every once in a while. And I also want to be constantly in search of stuff just in case because I need some painkillers. Actually, that zombie. In The Walking Dead, you would be dead. Really, I should have actually died. Nothing to search here. Alright, we're gonna keep running. Oh god. If someone needs saving, I wanna see how a death is like. Wait, that sounds kinda of messed up. I should have totally died. Oh my god. I'll see you soon. I want to see how I want to see how they die. Boom. Ah, goodbye. How the? Okay, it says that I need to help them, but there's no way in hell you're surviving that. There's no way in hell that you're surviving. Okay, if you survive that. Okay, in a few. Okay, I'm gonna help them. Could literally, I'm just standing here. All right. Okay, so we rescued uh, Maya. All right, I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. I'll see